An Unnerving Discovery by A.B. England. This is bad. You said that already. It's seen worth repeating. Cameron groveled something Emma couldn't make out and his eyes never left the screen. How'd they even get all this, she mused. Seems the Capitol's been keeping track of Metis for generations. Some of these entries are from last century. Emma shivered. You don't think the place we swiped this from was some big politician's house, do you? Cameron grimaced and returned to decrypting the rest of the files on the flash drive. His eyes glossed over and his jaw clenched. Emma kept quiet. She knew from years as his partner the expression meant Cameron was hyper-focused. She suspected he was already dividing his attention between the continued decryptions and searching his memory for details. It wasn't listed to one, he said. His eyes cleared and his typing picked up speed again. So our employer then? I don't know and I'm too tired to keep going back and forth, Cameron snapped. Emma raised her hands in surrender and took a step back. Neither of them had slept and he wrenched his back pretty bad, chunking her over the wall. Cameron's usual goofball demeanor turned mean when he was exhausted, and it just got worse when he was in pain. The last thing she wanted right now was a repeat of Hildebrook. She slipped out of the hotel room. The town they stopped in was a small one and quiet at this insane hour. Truck stops were almost always open, though, as she remembered seeing one just up the road from their hotel. Pulling her jacket tighter, she trotted off toward the stop's glow. Cameron was still typing away when she returned a half hour later. Shaking her head, Emma locked up. She tossed the remains of the snack she'd eaten on the way back in the garbage. Then she walked over to the desk and sat a bare claw of water and packet of ibuprofen by Cameron's elbow before kicking off her boots and climbing into her bed. The clock read two minutes after 11 when she woke up. Rubbing her eyes, Emma rolled over to find Cameron sprawled out over the bed, still dressed, shoes and all. She clambered out of the bed, put her boots back on, and started getting them packed up and ready to go. She finished just afternoon and shook Cameron awake. Time to get moving, she said. He nodded and got up. Drop off first thing tomorrow and it's 14 hour drive. We should destroy it. Cameron looked at her like she'd grown another head. There's a big difference between swapping a bit of pretty from one money bags to sell to another and selling out thousands of metas, Emma argued. Those are our families, old folks and kids too, not just supers. They aren't just gonna let it drop, Emma. I know. They stared at one another, having a silent battle of wheels and took camera smirk. Sounds like fun. If you enjoyed today's story and would like to see some more stories or articles or find out about my books, you can find more information at abengland.com. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.